subscribe to our youtube channel press the bell icon and stay entertained tracking milestones of an incredible journey spanning 30 years rehman music sheets when we were doing the songs of lagan uh, javed akhtar ji was uh, at that time he said ki are bhai ye kahan se shuru hota hai kahan chala jata hai तो उसको बोलना पड़ता है कि भैया वापस आ जाओ स्लम डॉग ऑफ कोर्स दैट सॉन्ग वॉज ऑन मेड ऑन द लाइन्स ऑफ चोली के पीछे मी या नीला जी पे बहुत लाफिंग की कैसा गाना ये रेंगा 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 साउंडेड वेरी ऑड खटिए पे मैं पे वी वाज लाफिंग यू नो एंड देन वी सैंग इट ताल बिकेम द बेस्ट सेलिंग साउंड ट्रैक ऑफ 1999 आफ्टर ताल अलका याग्निक कंटिन्यूड सिंगिंग फॉर ए आर रहमान टू ऑफ देयर कोलैबोरेशन स्टैंड आउट for garnering huge national and international fame slum dog millionaire and lagan rehman's compositions are not restricted by any format as a singer how do you react yes i had been for number of years i've been singing songs with a particular format ye mukhra hai ye antra hai antre ke baad phir mukhra aata hai uske baad phir second antra aata hai but this was very strange because you know i mean uh, it really didn't follow the any of the conventional kind of songs or the that conventional format was not uh, he he didn't care about the conven- he used to go as as his tune progressed so the lyrics had to be sort of adjusted with the tune and the song used to start from a particular place and it used to keep going you know in fact i remember uh, when we were doing the songs of lagan uh, javed akhtar ji was uh, at that time he said ki अरे भाई ये कहाँ से शुरू होता है कहाँ चला जाता है तो उसको बोलना पड़ता है कि भैया वापस आ जाओ अब बहुत हो गया वापस आ जाओ सो इट वॉज प्रिसाइसली लाइक दैट बिकॉज द सॉन्ग यू टू जस्ट यू नो जस्ट गो वेरियस डायरेक्शन गोइंग अप गोइंग डाउन एंड वी यूज टू वंडर कि इसमें म्यूजिक कहाँ आएगा और हाउ इज द सॉन्ग टू कम बैक टू द मुखरा बट समाइम्स इवन इवन एंड एंड इनफैक्ट आई थॉट कि ये गाने जब इतने अनकन्वेंशनल हैं जिसका कोई फॉर्मैट नहीं है कोई एक uh, uh, यू नो डिमार्केशन नहीं है तो ये लोग कैसे समझेंगे और हाउ विल दे अप्रिशिएट इट बट सरप्राइजिंगली एवरी सॉन्ग बिकेम सो पॉपुलर एंड पीपल लव द सॉन्ग्स एंड आई थिंक सॉन्ग्स ऑफ लगाना एच इन पीपल्स हार्ट्स एंड माइंड्स फॉर एवर follow any rules he just you should close your eyes and jo aa raha whatever is coming let it come let it flow uh but somehow although it was a little difficult the song on the when it was being created sounded difficult after it was sung after it was completed edited and presented it was very uh easy to the uh, you know to the ears like, like it sounded as though bada bada aasan gana it's it's just, it's just flowing his notes is our notes always just flow very very uh like like the river so uh i think that was something which i which struck me even when i sang for him for the first time that he didn't he didn't follow any rules and uh he just did he just sort of went along with what came Rahman I think is a very learned composer. He knows ragas, he knows a lot of classical and he uses you uh, a lot of harkats in his song. But of course it has depending on the kind of song because if it's a if it's a, a song which is being played uh, in a situation in a movie when it's supposed to be played in a club or something he can hardly use classical there. But uh, I think all the songs which he uh, makes are based somewhere he derives from the from the classical knowledge which he has maine jo bhi gaane gaaye unke un sab mein unka wo pata chalta hai but he is he 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 very he is very intelligently he puts together the compositions which are little semi classical with arrangements that are very modern and uh, very uh, the sound is is very different or unusual uh, the song which he made for lagan ore chore 
he's blended it so beautifully with that little uh, western singing and the english uh, english verse in between and then coming the way it comes back to the in, typically indian kind of groove i think it's very very beautifully done more man mein ki jo baat chupi aayi hai jaban par more dil mein kahin ik teer jo tha aaya hai kamaan par sun sun le sajan हम प्रेम नगर के वासी थाम थाम हाथ रहे साथ साथ कभी दूरी हो न जरा सी चलू में संग संग तेरी राह में बस तेरी चाह में हो और छोरी और छोरी Have you ever felt that some of Rahman's songs are just too synthetic because of usage of too much of electronic gadgetry you know some songs i feel but i feel that maybe because uh, songs which are composed for films are often very uh, very situational songs which uh, which are made for a situation so sometimes uh, the composer has to you know just to bring uh, fit into the situation make songs which are a little uh, you know very uh, electro uh, very electronically you know rich but a little lacking in melody and basic but wo situation gaane banane padte hain but basically i see i i all said and done out of so many uh, rahman has composed a lot of songs of all kinds and he's used i think he's the one who's used the maximum amount of new voices he's played around with a lot of voices he's experimented with experimented with voices with sounds um some of them are synthetic i feel maybe i'm wrong uh, but that could be because as i said there's situational songs and he he that is what is required for him to make at that for that particular situation but i have been very fortunate as i said that all the songs i have sung uh, have been very soulful very melodious bin bole baat tum hi se karu agar tum saath ho slum dog of course the, that song was uh, on made on the lines of choli ke piche and that's what uh, rahman told us at that he told me and ila ji ki they were actually wanting to put that uh, put that same song you know and uh, choli ke piche ko hi thoda ghuma phir rakhe but he wanted to make a song on the same line but little little different For some dog millionaire when you recorded Ringa Ringa did you ever expect that it would become an international hit No in fact we uh, me and Ila ji we we kept laughing and you know we saying ki uh, Ayar Rahman was not there for the recording but uh, he spoke to us uh, on Skype and uh, he said that just think you all are singing aapke dono ne choli ke piche gaya hai just think you all are singing the same song but with little different words we were both laughing ki kaisa gana ye ringa 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 it sounded very odd khatiye pe mai we were we were just laughing you know and then we sang it it was all like fun and games for us when we sang it and uh, did, didn't realize or didn't uh, apprehend at all that it's going to be such a such a big hit You have been with him on many of his concerts. Share some of your experiences. How do you rate him as a performer on stage? He's a great performer and uh, he performs without movement. You know, normally a great performer is one who sort of jumps and screams and who wah all that stuff, you know, and the acting and a bit of dancing stuff like that. But he just stands in one place and he sings. And if the mic and he just he just in the song closes his eyes and sings but uh it has a very very strong impact on the audience and uh, done a number of concerts with him yes and uh it's a pleasure because his his orchestra the, the sound the the kind of uh grandeur which ar rahman concerts have is Uh, very rare nowadays how do you rate rehman as a singer because some of the songs that he has sung have become huge hits in fact one of his songs uh, in fact one of rehman songs ye jo desh hai mera makes i cry every time i hear it because there's there's something about his voice uh, uh, the pain and the the pukar jo aawaz mein unki 
है पर्टिकुलरली इन दैट सॉन्ग ही हीज ही हीज अ गुड सिंगर ही इज आई मीन ही सिंग ऑन वेरी हाई नोट्स ऑफ कोर्स और ही इज अज अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग सिंगर आई वुड से बट समथिंग अबाउट दैट पर्टिकुलर सॉन्ग ये जो देश है मेरा एवरी टाइम आई हेयर इट उसमें ऐसी एक टान है उसकी आवाज़ में एक खींच है और इवन ऑन इवन इन दिस कॉन्सर्ट वेन एवर यू टू सिंग दिस द सॉन्ग ऑन स्टेज we would all backstage in the wings standing in the wings and listening to the song we would all be you know tears falling down and how would you react to some of the sufi songs that he has sung like piya haji ali khwaja mere khwaja spiritual songs or uh, songs with uh, that quality is something which he carries very well uh, i would say maybe that's because of the spiritualism in him and uh, but he's 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 he doesn't sing all he sang sings very few songs because he knows which ones he can carry and which he can't so he's quite intelligent about that also piya haji ali piya haji ali piya haji ali piya ho piya haji ali piya haji ali piya haji ali piya ho rehman's vocal cords mingled with the golden voice of the nightingale of india lata mangeshkar for the first time in rang de basanti lata mangeshkar rehearsed the song for 3 days before recording released in 2006 each song of rang de basanti has a story behind it its director rakesh om prakash mehra joins us in our next episode stay with us Rahman Music Sheets will continue to track his incredible journey to superstardom connecting you with his creative partners also engaging with musicians he inspired if you have reinterpreted or recreated Rahman's music share your videos if selected you will get featured on Rahman Music Sheets to submit your videos log on to our website o2-india.com Subscribe to our YouTube channel press the bell icon and stay entertained